Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Shabes online tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to solve for the value of n from this radical equation. And the given equation is what we have root of y multiplied by y raised to the power of 5 over 6, then multiplied by y, then divided by cube root of y equal to y to the power of n. And we are asked to solve for the value of n in this radical equation. So to solve for the value of n, the the first thing we are going to do, this square root of y here can also be written as what? y to the power of 1 over 2, then multiply by y to the power of 5 over 6, then multiply by y, and y is the same as y to the power of 1, then everything all over. Cube root of y is the same as what? y raised to the power of 1 over 3, which is equal to y to the power of n. And the next thing we are going to do, you know, this is multiplication, and all the bases are the same. We write one or one of the base, then we add all the power. If you recall your multiplication property of indices, then in the numerator there we write one of the base, then we add up the power. So the first power is one over two, then plus the second power five over six, then plus one. So everything all over y raised to the power of one over three, which is equal to y raised to the power of n. So the next thing we're going to do is to simplify this power. This is going to be what y raised to the power of LCM of 2 and 6 is going to be what 6, then we rule a division line. 6 divided is 3, then 3 multiplied by 1 is going to give us 3. Then plus 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 5. Then plus 6, there's nothing here. So this is the same as 1 over 1. 6 divided by 6, then 6 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 6. Then everything all over y raised to the power of 1 over 3 which is going to be equal to y to the power of n. So the next thing we're going to do is to simplify this power again. 3 plus 5 is going to give us 8. Then 8 plus 6 is going to give us a 14. So this is going to be what y raised to the power of 14 over 6. Then divided by y raised to the power of 1 over 3, which is equal to y to the power of n. So the next thing we're going to recall is division property of indices y y the base are the same and this is division we just write one of the base then we subtract the power the first power is what 14 over 6 minus the second power which is what 1 over 3 which is going to be equal to y to the power of n so the next thing is to simplify this power we have y here then the lcm of 6 and 3 is 6 then we rule a division line 6 divided by 6 is 1, then 1 multiplied by 14 is going to give us 14, then minus 6 divided by 3 is 2, then 2 multiplied by 1 is going to give us a 2, which is going to be equal to y raised to the power of n. So the next thing we are going to do, we are still in the power, y raised to the power of 14 minus 2 is 12, then 12 divided by 6 is going to give us 2 which is the same as y to the power of n. And remember, we are asked to solve for the value of n. Then we recall one of the property of indices. When the bases are the same and there is a quality sign, the power is also the same. Well, we just equate the power. So the first power is 2, which is equal to n. Therefore, 2 is the value of n that satisfies this radical equation. Thank you for watching and please follow and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.